Hi guys, I'm Asif Ali and watching this job video. Today we will make this very cool and very simple healing pulse AOE effect. And the main part is the material. So this whole ring glow everything we will make in material. And step by step, I'll show you multiple ways to make the ring inside the material without any texture. Although you can use texture if you want. And then the particle is very simple, just scaling the particle. But the material is main part that you will learn today. So let's dive in. So let's start this so i have already lots of tutorials covering this element this rings i have a, a lot of material tutorials specifically and you can also use texture and i have already texture tutorial but i wanted to make a separate tutorial for just for this simple element so let's make it so basically what you have to do first make a material for the ring you can also use texture that will be cool and and ring you can make simply uh, very quickly but we will make something specific that looks good so i'll use translucent material and lit you can use two sided if you want so basically there are lots of ways to make the ring so first is if you take the radial and this is the radial like this let it preview and if you take the sign so it will make this ring but this ring has one side sharp and one side soft so if you want both sides soft you can select your sign make it two it will be softer from both sides but the thickness is high to reduce the thickness you can use power maybe i'll use five or maybe 10 or 50 uh, let me check so i think i i need this okay so i need this and then I need something uh, more on it. So let's say I'll use multiply and make it like 0.2. So it will be faded. And that thing you can do in the particles if you want. You can make multiple layers. But I want to make the simple material that I don't have to do anything in particles. This is soft. Now if I take this power again and make the values maybe 10. So it will be very thinner if I preview. And because I'm not multiplying it, so it is uh, bright. Let's make it 5, 50, sorry. So it will be very thinner. Then you can add these together. So you have a soft, which is wider. And you have a thinner, which is bright. So you, now you have two layers. You can even make it 100 if you want. Cool. Now the next part is I want uh, maybe 200. It depends. Uh, how you want now I want this internal part should be more opaque kind of thing so what you can do you can copy or you can use this for just I'm copying to make it clean so what you can do let's say you take you invert it what will happen it will be black here and white here then if you increase the density will be sharper so if i duplicate although you can sh make it sharp here also using a step node so there are lots of ways to do it so let's say 100 and if i preview this will be sharper and if i multiply these together what i'll have i'll have this inverted and this thing here cool so now i want this to be here so but i want little smaller so let's make a radius for this maybe point three and i want to add these together so let me show you first this is how it looks i want this this one this new one from here so when i add it here if this is not exactly there i will reduce or increase the radius you can see now this one is too small so maybe three point point three two you can adjust that yeah so you can see now we have a glow outside we have this fading inside but inside is little more bright and then we have this edge you can even more add one more edge if you want like if i use step node after this and preview it will make it very sharp if i make it like point one uh, let me use it here actually so that will be uh, uh, the line will be white like this 0 0.99 so this is the thickness or maybe one more, more 
So now you have this very sharp. You can also add it if you want to. So it depends on you. So you have now multiple layers combined and you have something output. So that output you should visualize first. If you want exact now, if I zoom, you can see that we have that very sharp. Then we have this faded. Then we have more faded. So overall, this is what we get. Okay. So this is if you want like this, if you don't want like this, you want just one ring, you can use simple this or this thing. Okay. So I'm just showing you multiple ways of making rings with different settings. So I'll just use it here and I'll use it with opacity and that's that's it. It will be very simpler now to put it inside the uh, Niagara and make a cool effect. So I'll make a Niagara. Just take this empty and as right click I'll take the minimal and then I want you can use spawn rate and you can use also burst so I'm bursting one particle and then I'll use this material here okay so this is how it looks let's make this maybe a little green yeah cool and this is camera phasing I want it to face the ground so basically if I just make it local and drag it here now you'll see this is facing camera I want to face it ground so go here in the render make this custom alignment custom facing vector you can take here align to mesh orientation and fix these make this z axis so now it's z axis you can see okay so these are the settings you can see so I'll just make it little up and now I want to scale it so I'll just take this size curve and make the life maybe just 1 or 0.5 so now you need actually in initial size so now it's just scaling up cool let's make this maybe 5 it's very small so let's make it 100 cool but life is very slow sorry very fast cool and I want to fade it and also the size should be animate like this and then it should be fade so I'll take the scale color in the opacity in the alpha I'll just put a curve and that will go down cool and then you can uh, life is one you can spawn it every 0.5 so they will be multiple and that looks cool so you can see the glow it looks really cool because I made it in material I'm not like overpowering the color color is just a flat color but glow looks really cool and it's very simple and I think very usable so I hope you liked it thanks for watching keep learning and bye bye